still back in the lair back there but we just got up it's a really horrible night of sleep I think we got four hours cars driving by all night so loud so we got a 45 minute drive to the trailhead you ready boo yeah <laughs> All right, we're at the trailhead, getting ready to go. Sunscreen, because we're gonna be out in the sun for like 15 hours today. Oh man, I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. It is 309. The last three miles were a little rocky on the road, but any car can make it. We just filmed, filled out our permit, uh, just a day use permit. We put half in the box and then take this with us if we get stopped by a ranger. And, and the parks pass up here on the dash. Yeah. And we're heading out in like 10 minutes. We put our parks pass in the dash. But if you don't have one, you can pay here five bucks. And this is where you register your day use permit. No drones, everything else pretty self-explanatory. Just some tips and stuff. Update. Um, I'm eating a chia bar, and we just made it to Colchuck Lake. What it time is unbelievable. it? Unbelievable. We took our, we turned our headlamps off to like really get a view. Um, it's 4:50 a.m. <laughs> and we just saw our first glimpse of Asgard Pass, and it looks pretty crazy. So we've done 4.3 miles and about 2,300 feet of elevation gain. Uh, like we said, it's 4:50. On our way, but Asgard Pass is gonna to be tough. Um, timing wise, we should be on kind of the harder part once it's light out. I don't think we're gonna make it to the top in the dark uh, for safety reasons and for time reasons. So I don't have a tripod. My camera's just on this rock at the moment, but this is what it looks like. You got lots of stars in the sky. It's pretty epic. So this is what a tripod looks like when you don't actually pack a tripod and you're trying to save weight. He's getting some Astro bangers right now. So we just kind of circled around Cold Chuck. Not much filming. You know, it's really dark. We're hiking in the middle of the night. But uh, the last little bit was kind of just in and out of boulders. A little bit of trail finding, but not too much. And now we're at the base of Asgard Pass, which in the next mile-ish, we gained 2,200 feet of elevation, so it's like straight up for this next mile. We're gonna be fighting time. We got 30 minutes till sunrise. We know we're not gonna make it to the top, but we just want a good vantage point of Colchuck Lake down here and the mountains surrounding us. So Asgard Pass is 2,200 feet. Looks like we've gone 700 or so. We've got like 1,500 left, but I think we're gonna camp out right here for sunrise. I look crazy as shit at the moment. <laughs> but insane hike so far. We were super scared and like kind of worried about Asgard Pass from down below at Kolchak, but it's actually really, really fun and just bouldering up. And so far, yeah. <laughs> so I climbed up a little bit further, Bree got on this rock. Thanks for some awesome photos. The sunrise is coming in. It's lighting up these peaks over here. We're not in a great place alignment with uh, the peaks that are lighting up orange, but nonetheless, insane photos and light at the moment. What are you, what shot are you getting right now? On the telephoto? 
sick. What are your thoughts so far on the enchantments and our decision to do the whole hike? There's mosquitoes. Um, it's amazing. I would have been kicking myself if I knew what we were missing out on if we didn't come. So, so happy we came. It is unbelievable. The peaks are pristine. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Still working our way up Asgard Pass. It got a little bit sketchier, so we throw on the helmets. Um, a lot looser, a lot steeper, so definitely some rock fall. Still pretty fun, but it's extremely tiring. Okay, so it's kind of tricky navigating like a completely like unmarked boulder field. So I guess it is kind of marked because there are these little cairns everywhere and I'll show you what they look like. And that really is helpful for navigating this trail because we would have gotten lost a few times if it weren't for that and the All Trails app. So Kevin is over there and as you can see, we follow those little parents. That looks like the summit. Got our first glimpse of the sun. So far, there's been like three false summits, but we were pretty sure this is actually it. Based on all trails, looks like you only have like 400 more feet. It's super faint, but I think that mountain right there is Mount Rainier. No shot that will show up on here. That little white peak. So there's a lake here, and it looks like a glacier. So I just checked all trails, and this is called Mist Pond. Right below the summit of Asgard Pass. These peaks are insane. I mean, the light isn't that great for photos, but holy crap. Okay, so since we're at the top of the pass right now, it's really cool, like really rugged, like landscapes and pointy rocks and peaks and just so insane. So I'm taking some photos of Kevin. He's up on that rock over there. Running around uh, Asgard Pass, getting some photos. I ran up here so we could get a telephoto shot of me with these peaks. I just noticed this little like green pool, it's so cool. Um, pretty tiny, so probably not worth going over there. This is the first snow we've encountered on the route. Thankfully, it's not on the route because at the moment, I'm still terrified of snow because of my accident. But the trail looks like all rocks and this is the high point, so I don't think we'll run into any snow. So we are making our way kind of past Asgard Pass and down. Um, all trail says we've done 7.3 miles. So we've gone about a third of the distance, but we've gone like 95% of the elevation, which is awesome because our legs are hurting. So now we just have a long day of like 12 miles descent. We're gonna go down like 6,000 feet in elevation. We're at 7,800 now and we're gonna head down to, I think like 1,300, like close to sea level. So it should be an interesting hike and then hopefully we can get the shuttle back to our van. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Um, and it's a great way to make sure you're on track, but there is like slight little turns where there's some route finding. So highly recommend downloading the offline all trails map for this if you're gonna do it. Save time and any extra miles you don't need to do. We are about halfway. I think we're just under 10 miles. Um, it's cruising, it's all downhill, so the hike sent Asgard Pass has been super easy. Um, just wanna make sure we get back in time to get a shuttle. So we're just gonna kick it here, have lunch, relax before starting back up. All right, so we found a nice spot that we thought we could eat lunch at. The view's not too bad. <sighs> So 
So this was a very long and beautiful lunch spot. Probably our longest break we've taken so far. But we got our toes wet. We tried out the life straw, shot some GoPro underwater stuff. And now we're gonna start the next 10 miles. Hopefully my blisters don't get too bad. Tape them up. You ready? Ready. <laughs> Five hundred feet to descent. We just got a view of this, so it's probably at the base of that and maybe even further down. So lots of descending. to Snow Lake, um, the place that we are going to, our end kind of destination of this is Snow Lake Trailhead. So this is kind of the last scenic spot that I believe we're going to see. I just talked to someone who has a campsite a little bit over there. They said that another seven to eight miles. This is the part that we're not too sure on because everything online has such a big discrepancy. So we thought it was gonna be more like four or five, but I guess it's seven to eight. <laughs> you ready? What are you doing right now? I have like sand and stuff in my shoes and something. But this lake's pretty dope. Bree, how are you feeling? I'm really tired. I think I just checked we're at like almost 14 miles. Um, I brought a Red Bull so we're gonna crack that soon. We're both. And yeah, we're both thirsty. We both ran out of water and we haven't been close enough to the water to use the life straw yet, so we're both hurting. Um, it's definitely like hot too. So that is Upper Snow Lake, and you can't see it, but that's Lower Snow Lake. Emergency stash of Skittles. <laughs> Still haven't found water. This is dried up, but this looks really, really good. We're almost at 15 and a half miles, and my stomach really hurt laying down on that log, just sucking out of the life straw. So Brie had a good idea. I filled my Osprey pack with the lake water and we are filtering it through here. Gotta do what you gotta do. We are hurting at this little like V right here, we think that's the end. Uh, we're both dead, so we're yeah, not gonna film really anymore until we get down there. Yeah, so hopefully the shuttle thing goes as planned and we will see you later. We'll see you down at the car. Barely moving, I'm moving at snail speed and I also have blisters now, I can feel it and it really hurts to walk, so. We're about to see sunset. We've been up here for four hours before sunrise and we're about to see sunset now. so long in one day that I had blisters on my shoulders for my backpack. Blisters on my shoulders, people. <laughs> what the fuck? Blisters on your shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> this descent never ends. We've been descending for so many hours and so many thousands of feet. <laughs> Still not there yet. We're getting on this bridge. It's 0.1 miles from the parking lot. So we're gonna call this the finish line. See you guys in a minute. <laughs> So we are beaten up, we are filthy, we are tired. We've been up since 12.45 a.m. and it's, do you even know what time it is? No, I don't, it's, it's like, it's 7. 7 p.m. So it's been a long ass day. Look we at are, my feet. They got dirty. 
Mine, mine are much worse, mine are black. Um, they're filthy. Anyways, this is the most beautiful hike either of us have ever done. Um, furthest hike we've ever done, most altitude we've ever done. Uh, really pushed ourselves, but it was Please, amazing. Please, yes, support. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. We're gonna go find McDonald's or something. See ya. I forgot to add, our final mileage was 21.2 miles, and we haven't gotten the number yet because we haven't had service, but about probably 5,000 feet in elevation. I think what Bree was trying to say was, subscribe to the channel because we love making these videos, and hope you guys do too. <laughs> that is it. <laughs>